Hello, Amazium friends and families. My name is Sam Dean. I'm the executive director at the Scott Family Amazium, and I am so excited to walk you through this activity. It's one of my favorite types of things to go through this exploration and discovery style experience. In this case, it's one that's sort of focused on light, color, and shadows. It's a phenomenon that's around us every day in so many different ways. And if you take a couple of moments and kind of explore a little more deeply, it's pretty profound what's happening around you. All you need to be able to do is find uh, some lights, some materials to shine lights through and around. Here's some of the uh, sources of light I'm using. I've got some LED lights, I've got a little uh, home spotlight. I'm using some string lights, a couple different types of uh, LEDs, a headlamp. I'm gonna be using my uh, camera phone for most of this, but I've got my own camera that I, I might use for some special spotlights. Um, and then I've got just other objects. So I've got different glasses filled with uh, clear liquids, mostly water, but I've got Sprite now and another one. Just some other objects that I thought might make interesting shadows. Just to some other toy friends that can, uh, I think might cast some interesting shadows. And in this case, a screen, and I'm using a pantry door as a screen. I wanted something that has a nice white surface so that it really picks up light and color really well. Uh, you can hang a sheet, you can use a sheet board, you can use just anything that gives you a nice big surface to shine light on. In the case, my countertop itself also makes a really nice uh, palette as I was finding while I was exploring. So I'm exploring with these uh, string lights. You get it's just kind of cool patterns on the countertop. I thought I'd go and see what would happen up against the wall going through uh, water. And what I'm finding is there's just not a whole lot of interesting things happening. But as I was moving the lights around and moved them closer to a glass, I found that, oh my gosh, there's some cool stuff that's happening as I get closer to the water. And as I look at the table surface, instead of trying to look for a screen that's farther away, these string lights, and you can kind of see they all jumble together and get this cool, shadow mix here. But I'm getting this cool lensing effect, this cool gathering of the lights through the wine glass. And it's interesting, as I bring them closer, that's really interesting, that's cool. Okay, here I'm using the Bloom Spotlight on a white setting, going through these trees, and I just find this really interesting. So it's going through the trees, and as I zoom in on that shadow, I'm actually getting some pinks and some greens in there. I know LEDs sort of mix colors together to get the broader swath of color that we see. Sometimes it's fun just to play with some really simple LEDs. Here's a little keychain LED a friend got me for Christmas. I'm gonna start bringing it into this onion skin, which turns out it's a really good screen, and it really becomes kind of like a disco onion. Because this is uh, an exploration or discovery style activity, really you wanna let your curiosity lead the way. Mess around with some materials that you scrounge up from around your house, you're gonna start shining some lights on it, around it, and letting your questions guide the way. Think about things like, I notice, I wonder, or paying attention to something, go, I wonder what happens if, or what if I do this? Use these more open-ended kinds of questions and sort of let those questions guide your explorations. Record in uh, journals, take some photos, and share them out with us at Amazium U. We wanna see your discoveries, we want you to share that with the greater Amazium uh, community. All right. If you're ready, let's dive in.